In today's video, I will explain how to download and install Windows 10 without a USB flash drive or CD using only the hard disk. This method is simple, fast, and allows you to get the latest official update directly from Microsoft's website. So let's go to the desktop and see how to download the official version correctly. To download the latest version of Windows 10, you will find the download link in the description box. Click on the link and it will take you to the Microsoft website. Here you will see the option to update your current Windows 10 installation to the latest version by clicking on the update button. Additionally, you will find a tool that allows you to install Windows 10, but this option does not allow you to download the ISO file. If you want to download the ISO file directly, scroll down to the middle of the page and click on the last option, which is check or the last available choice. Next, the page will appear as shown. Click on the mobile view icon and the page will switch to a mobile friendly version. Refresh the page and you will now see the option to download the full ISO file. Close the previous section as you no longer need it. Now, you will see the option to select the Windows 10 version. Click Confirm and wait a few seconds. Next, choose the language for your Windows 10 version. The website supports multiple languages including Spanish, German, English, and Arabic. I will select English and then click Confirm. In the next step, choose the architecture version you need, either 64-bit or 32-bit. If your device supports 64-bit, select that option, otherwise choose 32-bit. I will select 64-bit and click on the download button and the file will start downloading immediately after downloading the Windows ISO file. You should place it in a different location, avoiding the desktop or the system partition. Instead, store it in another folder or partition. In my case, I save the ISO file in a separate location. Next, you need to extract the contents of the ISO file using WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR, you'll find a download link in the video description. Once installed, right-click on the ISO file and select Extract to or simply use the direct extraction option. This will extract all files into a new folder with the same name as the ISO file. After extraction, you can either keep the folder name the same or rename it to something simple for easy identification during installation. For example, if the folder is named Windows 10, you can leave it as is or rename it to something recognizable. Now, to proceed with the installation, go to Settings, then Navigate to Update and Security and select recovery. Under the advanced startup section, click restart now. Once your PC restarts, you will be taken to the advanced startup settings where you can install Windows 10 without using a USB or CD. From here, select troubleshoot, then go to advanced options and follow the steps to complete the installation. Today, we will use the system image recovery method to install Windows through advanced settings. When selecting this option, your computer may restart automatically or you may need to follow the steps manually. After the restart, the system may automatically proceed to the next step. If not, you will see the login screen. If there is no registered user account on the device, leave the password field empty and click Next to continue. Next, a message like this will appear. Simply cancel it, then click Next. From the left side menu, click Advanced, then select Option 2, Install Driver. You can now navigate to this PC, then open the partition where you extracted the Windows installation files. If you don't find the folder in the expected location, the partition letter may have changed. In this case, check the other partitions until you find it. Now open the folder containing the installation files and you will find the setup.exe file. Right click on it and select run as administrator. As you can see, the standard installation window will now appear without the need for a USB flash drive or DVD. You can now proceed with the usual installation steps, such as selecting your language and region, then clicking Next. After that, agree to the terms and conditions, then choose the Windows edition you want to install, and the installation process will begin smoothly. All Windows editions will be available during installation. In my case, I'm using Windows 10 Pro, so I selected it. Next, check the box to agree to the license Marts agreement, then click Next. In the next step, select Option 2, then go to the formatting window where you will choose the partition to install Windows on. It's recommended to know its size beforehand to ensure selecting the correct one. After that, 
Click Next and the Windows installation will begin. During this process, your computer may restart multiple times, which is completely normal and requires no action from you. Once the installation is complete, you will begin the initial setup process where you need to enter some basic information. We'll skip the unnecessary steps and jump directly to the next important settings. Here select your primary language and then click Yes. Next, choose your secondary keyboard layout. In my case, I select Arabic, then Arabic 101. Now choose the device type, personal use school or work device. If you want to skip adding a Microsoft account, you can select I don't have an account while recording and you can add it later from the desktop. Next, enter your username for the device. If you prefer logging in without a password, you can leave the password field blank. In the next step, adjust the privacy settings as you prefer, then click next. After that, you can choose to customize your device for different purposes such as a content creation. Business use family device. Finally, click Finish and your Windows setup will be completed successfully without the need for a USB flash drive, DVD, or additional software.